but uh, all of the training for the operational stuff. I mean the, the theoretical training and practical training as well. Uh, besides that, we prepare the uh, training program and training materials, and uh, we train the, the staff, and uh, we uh, make the uh, exams, uh, the, the exam questions, and uh, we are the part of the exam board. Uh, today, you can uh, hear some details about the simulator itself. You can uh, hear the, the history of the simulator. Our simulator is quite old. Uh, more than 20 years old. Uh, we start, uh, started the uh, uh, training uh, at the time, as I remember. At that time, our simulator, uh, the, the control room was the same uh, view as now, but, but uh, besides the, the simulator, the, the computers were the totally uh, other. Of course, it was the IDs, the old computers, the big computers. Originally, our simulator uh, made uh, in uh, Finland. We cooperated at that time with uh, Nokia. You probably heard the company Nokia, but at that time uh, they made simulator and other uh, uh, technical issues, but not the, the uh, mobile phone. Later, we know the Nokia, the, the, of course, the mobile phone. Uh, we prepare the simulator uh, in cooperation with the Nokia company and uh, some other Finnish uh, group, technical group, and uh, Hungarian. Uh, Group technical background institute. So my English is very poor. So <laughs> from that point, I I would <laughs> say Hungarian. Mr. Venza will translate. Yeah. Uh, we uh, we amely képesek voltak nagy sebességgel valós időben működni, és a szociálisra távolban ilyenek nem nagyon voltak, nyugati a kokonista miatt nem adták el. So the reason uh, why we had to cooperate uh, with a Finnish Nokia company was because uh, in order to build the simulator we needed high capacity, well, compared to uh, uh, computing capacity of those times, uh, high, ca uh, high computing uh, capacity uh, computers. Uh, the socialist countries uh, never had some such high technology available. Um, and uh, the uh, uh, Western countries did, were, were not allowed to export such uh, high-tech uh, equipment uh, to a socialist country. Finland uh, was a different. Természetesen az első számítógépek ma már rég elavultak, a Nagyobb Múzeumában lehet őket megtekinteni, hatalmas nagy ruhászekvényi méretű számítógépek voltak, tizenegy tudással, mint a mostanában. Of course, uh, those uh, high-tech computers of those times, uh, we're talking about the uh, middle of the 1980s, were about the cloakroom size, uh, boxes uh, full of different electronic uh, components. Uh, we still have them. Uh, we have a, a nuclear uh, uh, power plant museum, uh, so people still can uh, visit that museum and see those uh, uh, older uh, computers. Uh, but typically, if we compare their uh, computing capacities, uh, features, uh, uh, compared to uh, what we have today, uh, they were only able to produce maybe one-tenth uh, that the uh, uh, computer of today uh, can do. Az elmúlt 
2025 évben kétszer volt nagy rekonstrukció a szimulátoron, amikor cseréltük a számítógépeket és a növekedő operációs rendszert is. Uh, in the past uh, 25 years, uh, we had two major upgrading uh, made to the simulator, uh, mainly on the hardware side. So we replaced uh, uh, the older uh, computers with uh, uh, newer ones, state-of-the-art uh, ones, and uh, we had some uh, upgrading uh, made uh, to the simulation software and the uh, environment. Méretekben is ez megjelent, ahogy említettem először a nagy ruhász szekrény, utána azért még egy termetes számítógép, most meg egy kis barátságos méret. The most, the most visible uh, proof of the development of the technology in computing was primarily the size of the computer. We mentioned that the first one was a, a cloakroom size one, a big wardrobe size. And then in the middle we have about this box size, and now we have this one. Bizonyára szó esett itt az elmúlt időszakban üzemidő hosszabbítás a készül az erőm, illetve már a egyet blokkon meg is kaptuk. Én azt jelenti, hogy újabb 20 évig kell üzemelni, nem csak a blokkoknak, hanem mellette a szimulátornak. Ez elengedhetetlené teszi azt, hogy ismét egy nagy rekonstrukciót hajtsunk végre a számítás technikai eszközökben. As uh, I'm sure you have heard about the uh, service time extension project for the, uh, for the real units. Uh, unit number one has already uh, uh, received their license uh, for an additional 20 years of operation. And uh, unit number two, three and four, the same uh, uh, prolonged uh, operational time is expected. Uh, it is obvious that uh, as the real units will uh, uh, keep on operating for another 20 years and 24 consecutively, uh, we will need uh, the simulator, the Fusco replica simulator, for an additional 20 years equally uh, to support the training uh, and technical support uh, of, of the plant and the uh, uh, control room operators. So, all in all, this is now the time again uh, for a major upgrade. So all in all, we are just in the middle of our uh, uh, planned uh, simulator uh, planned lifetime. We have 25 years behind us, and we have 25 years ahead of us. Technical research well, in terms of the, uh, the, the technical uh, characteristics, uh, this was all I wanted to tell you. But if you have any questions, maybe later, maybe yeah. Akkor inkább a képzésről beszélni, arról, hogy milyen képzéseket folytatunk itt a szimulátoron, és az hogyan kapcsolódik a terüli képzés. Now, I would like to uh, talk briefly about the training and the training programs. What kind of programs uh, we have on the simulator and about how it is included, how it is incorporated in uh, the plant training system and processes. Um, the section operating the simulator is called the simulator section. However, uh, this section is not only responsible for uh, simulator-based uh, training, but also for all kinds of operating, all kinds of training programs, including classroom. And, uh, and the simulator and uh, exam uh, conducting different kinds of examinations for the operations staff. A kapcsolatban menő mű képzési rendszere, hogy majd felvázolom kicsit bonyolultnak tűnik, ennek az oka, hogy bonyolult is. Well, if we take a look at the, uh, the training uh, system, how it is constructed and how it is operated, uh, may look like a pretty uh, difficult to understand, uh, and the reason is that it's pretty difficult. 
pretty complex. state level and authority level organizations. 